Assalamu alaikum. This is Kiran Rooch wearing seat number BP1550090. The drug which I have been given to present is oxygen. It is not only a drug. As we all are familiar with it, it is an essential element for the survival or the life of on this earth. So moving towards the topic and having an overview about the drug oxygen. It is a colorless, odorless, tasteless and non-flammable gas and supports combustion. Oxygen is prepared by liquefaction of air. It comprises 21% of the atmospheric oxygen. To treat the patients with serious impairment of gas exchange in the lungs, higher concentrations of oxygen are used. Oxygen is available in compressed form in cylinders, in liquid form, or can produce on site by its concentrators. Drug basics are generic name, oxygen. The type of drug is human prescription drug. Route of administration is respiratory or inhalation. The dosage form is medical gas. Indications of oxygen are uh, or the conditions in which oxygen can be prescribed are smoking cessation, hypoxia, that is the decreased level of tissue oxygenation and hypoxemia, that is the decreased level of, of partial pressure of oxygen in blood, in abdominal distension, in air embolism, carbon monoxide poisoning, cluster headache. Acute conditions or the medical emergencies which require high concentrations of oxygen are shock, sepsis, major trauma, cardiac arrest, anaphylaxis, carbon monoxide and cyanide poisonings, transfusion related acute lung injury. The side effects or adverse effects of oxygen which give rise to further complications include decreased retinal blood flow, retrolental fibroplasia. Dosage form of oxygen is inhalation. The devices through which oxygen can be given to the patients are an oxygen concentrator, large oxygen cylinders, portable cylinders, nasal cannula. The rational use of oxygen means the appropriate or standard use of oxygen in which proper dosing is uh, included are for critically ill patients, high concentration oxygen should be administered immediately. Oxygen saturation, that is the fifth vital sign, should be checked by a pulse oximetry in all breathless and acutely ill patients and the inspired oxygen concentration should be recorded. Pulse oximetry must be available in all locations where emergency oxygen is used. Oxygen should be prescribed to achieve a target saturation of 94 to 98% for most acutely ill patients or 88 to 92% for those at risk of hypercapnic respiratory failure. Oxygen should be administered by staff who are trained in oxygen administration. The pharmacokinetics of oxygen drug is metabolism in reported tissues. Drug interactions, oxygen is known to interact with other drugs and the drugs which interact with oxygen are bleomycin and amiodarone. The brand names of oxygen are EZOX, EZOX, Elnox, Antonox, Heliox. Now, the case study related to my drug oxygen is here. That is a 63-year-old woman bearing 67 kgs is as admitted to hospital with chest pain, shortness of breath, and sweating. She is seen in casualty and treated using a salbutamol nebulizer. She looks obese. She has been a, a lifelong smoker who stopped one day ago. 
Her previous medical history includes chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that is COPD, or uh, for 10 years, last admission to hospital was two weeks ago. Ischemic heart failure, or oh, ischemic heart disease since 1995, myocardial infarction for four years, uh, Osteoporosis diagnosed three years ago, hypertension diagnosed nine years ago, and pulmonary embolism two months ago. Now, preparing my SOAP notes, there are subjective, objective assessment, and plan. Here, the subjective uh, uh, include gender, that is female, age 63 years, weight 67 kgs, and the chief complaint are chest pain, shortness of breath, and sweating. Her medical history is uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, ischemic heart disease, myocardial infarction, osteoporosis, hypertension, and pulmonary embolism. The object includes vital signs. There are blood pressure, heart rate, and respiratory rate. All are normal here. Arterial blood gases that are ABGs are not up to the mark. Well, the pH is normal. However, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and oxygen are above the normal ranges. Oxygen saturation is 89%, that is below the normal range. The lungs are hyperinflated, no bees, means no rattle sound, but uh, there is crackle sounds in the right base of the lung during auscultation. Laboratory tests uh, are all normal except for the white cells count that is uh, somewhat above the normal range which shows that the patient has some sort of infection. Assessment is her vitals are normal, but an increase in uh, arterial blood gases is noted and uh, oxygen saturation is below normal range, while the lab report shows white cell count above normal range, which indicates some sort of infection. The patient is ca in casualty, was treated with salbutamol nebulizer, may be due to acute severe asthma attack or bronchospasm, as she was a lifelong smoker and her medical history showed that she had an underlying health and was earlier diagnosed with cardiac and pulmonary diseases and also with osteoporosis. So the plan for her treatment is here. Prednisolone that is given in a dose of 10 milligrams once a day, fluticasone inhaler 500 milligrams twice a day, Aspirin 75 milligrams once a day, bumetanide 1 milligram once a day, combivant nebulizer 2 4 times a day, enalapril 5 milligrams once a day, warfarin 5 mg once a day, diclofenac 50 mg as per need, and oxygen 2 liter nasal spec. These are the references through which I have prepared my presentation. And uh, now, if you have any query or want to ask some question, then go for it. And that's it. Thank you.